Bruises, cuts, bite marks, all now becoming a regular job hazard for teachers in Oklahoma. Just in my seven years uh, in the classroom, there were probably at least a dozen incidences where I felt um, that the, the classroom community was unsafe. Before she became state senator Carrie Hicks, she was Mrs. Hicks, elementary school teacher. Her time in the classroom had plenty of highs and lows, like the time a fourth grader hit her in the stomach. She was eight months pregnant. Um, that definitely did not make me feel safe, um, and I worried about the perception of what the 28 other students and the 28 other sets of eyes in, in the classroom were witnessing. Even now, it's not easy for Carrie to talk about. The same goes for a lot of educators. I'm going to kill you. You're going to die. I will kill you by the end of the day. That's a verbal assault. That's a threat. Kids are saying that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Shauna Mott Wright with the Tulsa Classroom Teachers Association talked with us in December. Because it's like the best kept worst secret because you just found out about it. It is a huge ordeal. It is bigger than anyone knows. It was the first time she'd spoken publicly about the issue. I got calls from all over the state just thanking me for bringing it up which just made me feel awesome and broke my heart simultaneously. It may be hard to talk about, but it's not hard to see. These two bruises were done by fourth graders. These two right here, kindergartners. And this chunk missing out of this teacher's nose, done by a first grader. Small pictures indicating a much bigger problem. Who is failing the teachers? That's a big question. I. I think a lot of it is people don't understand. A quick check with school districts all over green country shows that most of them do have a policy about what to do when a student attacks a teacher. School districts have this policy. Why isn't it being followed? That's part of the conversation we've been having. Sean is keeping track of what's going on, not just in Tulsa, but all around green country. Since 2009, statewide, there have been 592 physical attacks on teachers, according to the State Department of Education. But Shauna believes it's also one of the most underreported crimes. We have a few sexual assaults, and then we have several physical assaults. But even in all this, the questions we ask, the way they're broken down, are so different to try to get the data right. Teachers are reluctant to have those critical conversations because they would never want the child or the student or the family um, to be labeled. Carrie knows her new job comes with new challenges. And so as a state legislator, every session is a fresh new start. But it's also a new way to make a difference where it matters. Reporting in Tulsa, Maureen Wirtz, Tulsa's Channel 8.